while discussing the performance analysis of algorithms we had discussed that the space complexity and the time complexity are the two important direct metrics or the criteria on which the analysis of the algorithm depends so we will discuss the space complexity in this video and in the coming video we are going to discuss we will discuss the time complexity so when the algorithm is converted to a program the space complexity of a algorithm means it is the total space or the memory consumed by the algorithm or the memory required by the algorithm till its till it completes its execution right so a algorithm space requirement can be considered as it is the sum of two components where the first component is the fixed component and the second part the second component is variable component in the fixed component where only the algorithm that is the instruction space is will be there and the simple variables will be there in the variable part which is dependent on the input characteristics or the the problem in our hand okay which on which is considered as the input and the the output generated by the algorithm for that instance that will be the second part so the space comp needed by the algorithm is seen to be the sum of two components the fixed part that is independent of the characteristics of input and output it does not depend on the input and output and the this part is typically includes instruction space the number of instructions in the algorithm space for simple variables and fixed component variables fixed the, these component variables are fixed and space for constants we will understand it clearly when we go for the example and the second part is the variable part where that consists of the space needed by the component variables whose size is dependent on the particular problem instance that is the problem in our hand being solved and reference variables recursive recursion stack space etc so this second part depends on this all these things and it is a variable part so the total requirement that is space requirement of a algorithm s of p for that particular algorithm p can be written as s of p will be equal to c plus s of p sorry c plus sp where this sp is the variable part and c is the component part we are not going to concentrate or we are just ignoring this part because this is just the instruction space or the simple variable space so whenever we talk about the space complexity of the algorithm we talk about or we only concentrate or we only calculate this part that is sp let us see some examples the function abc where we are passing three param parameters a b c assume that they are some they are of some type they may be integers or floating point and we assume that uh, each require one word of memory assume this and it is going to return some calculation of it that is a plus b plus b star c divided by a plus b plus 4.0 i have taken this from some standard book and see that here there is no variable part before the compilation time only we know that there are three parameters we are passing and these and one re result so it requires four four words of memory three for variables and one for the result right there is no variable part even you even you are going to change the value of abc the the space required by this algorithm will be is not going to change right so there is nothing change in this so s of p here this will be equal to 0 we can say like this right because we are having only four words of memory which is a constant part which we are going to ignore and this say in the second example which is going to calculate the sum of the array elements sum of the array elements say we are passing these two parameters one is array and the second parameter is the number of elements in the array and we have declared one local variable that is the sum s is equal to 0 and just uh, by incrementing the value of i it is going to add the next array elements and it is going to return the sum see that 
here we require one very uh, one word for storing this that is n and one word for storing return address and say one word for this i so the, these this three is constant this three is constant and we don't know how many number of elements are there in the array it again depends on n so if n is 3 then that is that will be 3 if n is 4 that will be 4 so it is a variable one so s of p the total space required by this or time uh, space complexity of this algorithm is 3 plus n we can say like this right or here also we can say it is just 3 plus 0 or just is equal to 3 but this 0 is more important than 3 here and for in the third example the same is converted to recursive function so if n is less than or equal to 0 it is going to return 0 otherwise recursively it is going to call the same function rsm where we are passing two parameters one is a and n here it is going to pass a and n minus 1 in the next iteration n minus 2 in the next iteration and it is going to add a of n whatever it has already got right so here the depth of this recursion is n plus 1 it is going to call r sum based on the value of n and it is going to call itself n plus 1 number of time and again here we require three variables to store the normal data that is one is n and the result and one a right so this will be 3 into n plus 1 3 into n plus 1 because in the every iteration it requires these three variables in the every iteration uh, in the every recursive call it requires three three variable space right so the s of p here this will be always greater than or equal to 3 into n plus 1 here uh, by seeing these three examples what we can conclude is we need to concentrate mainly on the variable part of the algorithm variable part means the particular instance of the problem the input and the output this is one part and other part is by considering today's advances in the computing world day by day the cost or the price of the memory is getting cheap just we go 10 years back we never thought of uh, having uh, terabytes of uh, hard disk on our uh, personal computers and uh, say 4 gb 8 gb ram computers right it is it is decreasing day by day so the space complexity is not so important when we are analyzing the algorithm but still if we want to have an efficient algorithm from which we don't want to take out anything then still space complexity is a matter and the time complexity is more important because cpu cycle is most costliest one we have to decrease the number of cycles required by the algorithm right so we are going to discuss time complexity in the coming video. Thank you.